What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I wanted to jump into another foam cannon. This is one that I was just, I uh, was at a local O'Reilly store. I don't know if they're nationwide or not, um, but they're definitely here on the East Coast. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, West Coast, not East Coast. I'm in San Diego. Anyways, walking down the aisles and I noticed this foam cannon from Armor All. Um, now, right off the bat guys, I'm not a huge fan of Armor All. I don't use any of their, their chemicals or anything like that. I know they've been around forever. Um, but I haven't found any chemicals from them that I personally really like. Uh, I just think there's a lot of other options. That doesn't mean to say that they don't have amazing products. They may. I just don't know about them and I don't use them. So, um, but again, it's a gigantic name brand, right? And I wanted to get this thing and take a look at it. There was a couple things I noticed right off the bat that I really liked about it. So let's go ahead and unbox it and take a look at it. All right, so a couple things right off the bat. Nice bright orange color, good branding for Arm Armor All, right? Uh, it does have a basic quarter inch quick connect, so it fits on all your all of your standard pressure washer wands. Um, the tube is just the tube. It's a little bit stiff. As you can see, it's just kind of swinging off to the side there, and there's no weighted anything at the bottom, so um, I like having the weight because if you twist, the then the, the little straw piece stays in the solution. Uh, this is not gonna do that, but for the price, you know, this is an entry level pressure washer uh, foam cannon, so that makes sense. Now you do have your dial right on top. You can loosen and tighten. The tight, you tighten it all the way down, it's gonna restrict the water flow and you're gonna get more foam from it. Um, also on the inside, you can see it does have the little prongs there. You can twist it and you can close them up and open them wide. Now uh, what that does is it changes the angle of the fan. So I typically close mine all the way and then back it off a little bit. And that's where I like it. It gives me about a 40 degree fan. And I, that's what I like. So go ahead and pull out the bottle now. And the Armor All logo is raised. Kind of has a nice little tactile feel. Uh, it's like a, I don't know if it's just a sticker or if it's actually adhered like on there, on there. Uh, but whatever, that's cool. Totally fine. Um, and that is it. Box is empty. So one of the things that I really like uh, that I saw right off the bat when I saw this thing is that it is a wide mouth container, meaning it's easier to pour in your soap. Um, sometimes it's just a regular really small one and it's kind of hard to pour stuff in. The second thing that I like is that it is a plastic top on a plastic bottle. Now it's hard plastic. It's not gonna just completely wear down on you or anything. It's, it feels really good. Just, uh, and it screws on really easily. Um, I reviewed that Sunjo uh, foam cannon recently that I got at Walmart. I'll link that up here for you guys. Um, and a lot of the entry level foam cannons, the, the thing that I don't like about them is that it's a brass fitting. So the head piece the, where the screws, the, where the uh, thread is, is brass. And it goes onto a plastic bottle and you can strip that out so easily. I've done it in the past that, you know, um, we do this professionally so we're, doing a lot of washes and I'm um, screwing on that, screwing on the bottle on and off and it strips, it strips out the threads and I don't like that. So the fact that it's plastic on plastic and that it is uh, a wide mouth bottle, huge, huge plus. Also, the bottle is shaped wide here and then goes even wider. Well, it goes even wider, which is nice because it sits down without falling over. Really cool feature. Um, not all of them do that at all. Usually this brass piece up here is pretty heavy. So on a standard bottle, they tip over. Uh, let me grab one for you guys real quick so you can see. So here's an old one that I have. This is actually a different bottle not the bottle that it came with because the thread stripped out. So, but anyways, you can just see, stand it up and it topples over. So that's a pain in the butt. I really like the fact that this is wide and it stands up. Now I, you can notice it does bow back in here. So really your surface area isn't as big as the whole thing could be. And I would have liked it if they had just carried that all the way down, um, giving us more surface area on the bottom to, to put it down. But they may have done that. The reason I think that they did that is so that when you're filling your soap, you basically go to this line where the curve is. And then you know that's, that's all the soap you need and the rest can go to water. So um, we're gonna go ahead and hook this up and test it out. I don't know what size orifice this has in it. So most foam cannons are designed to be used with pretty powerful foam, uh, pressure washers, like your standard gas pressure washers, two gallons per minute and up. 
Um, and when you're using an electric pressure washer, which I think a lot of us are, uh, it has a lower rating, lower PSI, lower GPM. What GPM is gallons per minute or water flow. And with that, because of that, it doesn't produce as thick of a foam as it could. So um, there's a, there, is a, there is a trick to it. You can switch it out. Um, you can take out the orifice and switch it out with a 1.1 millimeter orifice and it'll increase your foam substantially. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. I don't, again, I don't know what size orifice is in there. We're just gonna test it out as is. And then I'll swap out a 1.1 millimeter orifice and see if it changes it at all. If it doesn't, then we know it's got a 1.1 in it and it's good to go. Um, but that way we'll know. So let's go ahead and uh, head over. I'm gonna be using this with my Craftsman 2100 PSI, 1.2 gallon per minute pressure washer. And uh, those numbers are pretty accurate. It actually gets like 2000 PSI and 1.2 GPM. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this thing up and test it out. Here we go. Got my foam cannon here. I'm gonna be filling it up with Mr. Pink from Chemical Guys. This is my standard go-to uh, car wash soap. So I'm familiar with how it foams with my other stuff. Um, so highly recommend this. I will be doing a video coming up soon testing out a bunch of different soaps. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn on the notification bell because that's gonna be a really good video. We're gonna be covering, I think I have 10 or 15 different soaps. We're gonna be testing them out and seeing which ones foam the best and all that kind of good stuff. So um, anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and fill it up again just to this body line here and then fill the rest up with soap. Did I say fill the rest up with soap? I think I, I, I meant to say fill the rest up with water again. So I went ahead and filled this just to that body line. I'm gonna grab my pressure washer wand. So I am using my little stubby pressure washer wand. I'll have these linked down below for you guys in the description. And I'm also using my Flexzilla, oh, excuse me, Uberflex hose. It's the same as the Flexzilla. It's actually Uberflex's patent for both hoses. Uh, just one's blue, one's green. But I love this thing. It doesn't kink, super pliable, 50 feet long, so you get more length out of it. So if you're interested in getting a better hose, I'll link a video up here uh, showing you guys uh, the Uberflex hose, the Flexzilla hose, and a bunch of other hoses, kind of comparing them. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. All right, guys, so I've got it filled up. It's gonna go ahead and put the top on. Again, super easy to put the top on because it's that nice wide mouth, plastic on plastic. Shake it up. Uh, let's see here, just a little test. It does leak if you put it upside down. Um, I did a foam cannon review on a really, uh, a more expensive one from NJJC. Uh, it's the Foam Cannon Pro. I'll link that up here for you guys too. It's a fantastic foam cannon. I, fr I love it. Um, but it's like three times the cost of this one, so, or two times. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to this one. All right, so I've got it connected. I am ready to go. So I'm not gonna use this whole bottle. I'm just gonna spray it and see what we get. Um, again, it's all the way tightened down. I will probably have to adjust the fan really quickly. Like, she just let me do that now. Alrighty, so I've adjusted the fan and I'm gonna go ahead and point you guys to the truck, back of my truck. And let's go ahead and foam this guy and see how, how well it works. So very, very well. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Let me zoom you guys in. So it's falling down a little bit, falling off the panel, but it's very thick. And it did a very, very good job. Um, let me just. So that'll do it. Um, that's a really good result. Oh. We may not need to change out the one to the 1.1 orifice. I, I don't know, um, but we're gonna go ahead and do it now. I'll show you how to do it, and then we'll be able to test it and see if it made a difference. Let me quickly go ahead and rinse this off of the truck. And I'm actually also gonna dry this so that it's fair. Um, I don't wanna put it on the, switch over the 1.1 millimeter orifice and then put it on wet. Um, we're gonna give it the same tactile feel, a dry panel, and then we can get a good side-by-side -side comparison. So hang on one second. All 
Alrighty guys, so you only need a couple of things to do this job. Very simple, you need a wrench, flathead screwdriver, and you need a 1.1 millimeter orifice. This is all it is, it's just that little guy. Um, so I'll have those linked down in the description for you guys if you're interested in getting those. Um, if, you're, if you have a foam cannon now that you're not happy with uh, the amount of foam that it creates, make sure you buy one of those. It'll reduce the amount of water going through, which so it increases the soap mixture um, passing through. And anyways, it creates way more foam. So anyways, let's go ahead and show you now how to do this. So right back here where the quarter, uh, quarter inch quick connect is, you just wanna get your wrench on that and take that guy off. So it seems like these ones are always on there really, really tight. There we go, I think. Yeah, so we got it. So just go ahead and loosen that up and back that out. Put that over to the side for a second. Now, if you look in there, you'll see a little slot on that little orifice and that's for your, uh, where you take your flathead screwdriver, just stick it into the slot and twist that guy out. And they shouldn't be in there that hard. Sometimes, sometimes they'll put Loctite on them, so they're really difficult to get out. This one was nice and easy to get out. Let's just look at this in comparison to this one and see if we can tell. Yeah, so that is definitely a much larger orifice. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys this on camera. I don't know, probably not. I don't know if you can tell. But this one is what, came, what it came with, and it has a much larger orifice than this little guy. Um, so, let's go ahead and put the smaller one in and see just how good uh, the foam is now, how much it increased the foam. So, same way to put, we just reverse the steps now. We just drop this in the little hole, just line it up. You don't want to strip out those threads. Take your flathead screwdriver and tighten it down. Again, just snug, guys. You don't have to over tighten this thing. It's nothing crazy. Do, 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 do. So they're snug and then just a quick little, just to make sure it's in there, just a whoop, good to go. Put your quick connect back onto it and tighten that down. Okay, we are all set, we're good to go. We now have a 1.1 millimeter orifice inside of this foam cannon. It definitely came with one that looks larger, so it's probably a 1.25 millimeter. Um, but you'll see just that 0.15 millimeter makes a big difference. We're going to go back to the truck. All right, guys. So as you remember, I didn't use the whole bottle. So this is the exact same mixture. I'll go ahead and shake it up again. Um, let me go ahead and put this on my pressure washer wand. All righty, still all cranked down. Everything's the same except that little 1.1 millimeter orifice. So let's go ahead and test it out. We still on over here. We are. Okay, here we go. So it definitely thickened it up quite a bit, guys. I don't know if you can see that. It's only falling down now because it's so thick. I mean, Like that's a good quarter inch to half inch thick in the thickest part. Um, so again, it did actually a very good job with the orifice that it had inside of it, the 1.25, with the mixture of soap and, and using Mr. Pink. However, switching out to a 1.1, we're definitely getting a much thicker foam. It's full on shaving cream here. Crazy, crazy thick. So there you have it guys, Armor All Foam Cannon. I really like it. I'm very, very impressed. I like the fact that, again, main features that I like, wide mouth opening, wide base so you're able to sit it down, uh, plastic on plastic thread so you're not gonna strip it out. The orifice it came with is larger than a 1.1, but it did a good job. Uh, but if you wanna increase your foam production, switch over to that 1.1. Again, everything is linked down in the description below for you guys. Thank you so much, hope that helps. Check this thing out, and we'll see you guys on the next one.